Hello guys, Gaming Limey here and welcome your faces and fingers back to another episode of Better Than Venga on FM18 and this is episode number 50. Can you believe it? We are 50 episodes into this series. Um, since you was last with us, I have actually, actually even played quite a few games. I think you was here for the... I don't even know. This game, I think the Reading game, the 1-1 one -one with Reading. Um, since then... As you can see, it's been okay. Um, we beat Chelsea 3-1 in the Carabao Cup um, with Eddie and Nketiah scoring twice in that. Um, but they did knock us out in the second leg. We lost 4-0 to them. Um, so we don't go through to the final. We had a game against Preston where we won 3-0. Um, we had the replay against uh, Reading in the FA Cup. And... Again, it was very, very tough, and it took us all the way through to extra time. We were by far the better team. We had, like, I don't know, 30-odd shots, um, so they're, like, six. Um, but we did manage to get through 2-1 um, in the end. Then we played Crystal Palace at home, and we beat them 3-0. Um, and then, like I said, we had the Carabao Cup second leg against Chelsea, and we absolutely got hammered. 4-0 uh, and out of the Carabao Cup. In this game we will show you the FA Cup game against Bristol City and the game in the Premier League against Southampton. Um, couple of transfer news if I can find the transfer thing, there it is. Um, we did bring a couple of players in. Um, one noticeable thing on the outs, uh, no Lacazette, Lac uh, sorry Ozil, Meza Ozil did not go anywhere. There was no bids for him. I tried to sell him. Nobody, nobody wanted him. Um, so yeah, we got this guy in, this youngster, Tom Fetzenberg, um, from Germany. He's an attacking, 16-year-old attacking midfielder. Um, one and a half star current ability, but four and a half star uh, potential there. So he's a youngster that's coming for two million pounds. Um, you guys have seen Danny Carbolos, fourteen and point two five million. Um, then we loaned in Mohamed Dahoud. Um, he is a German player and he's actually for sale for Dortmund. Uh, he's a two and a half star, three and a half star player. He's actually injured at the moment, so he hasn't made any appearances for us. Um, it's another body in the midfield. I think he's, he's very good at... Um, picking out a pass I think he's a like a bit like a Jack Wilshire type of player and I just wanted an extra body um in the midfield he is on loan here till the end of the season um but probably wouldn't be too much money to sell or uh, to buy at the end of the season if he impresses and then this one is a Brazilian 20 year old wonder kid um we bought him for 12 million that was his buyout clause uh, from, uh, who are these? I don't know who these are. In I don't know. I can't remember off the top of my head, Brazilian teams. Um, but £12 million was his buyout clause. We did have to pay it all. Um, he's an under 20, 14 caps, seven goals. So it's one every game. We've had to put him out on loan um, to Fulham. Uh just because he's got work permit issues um so we'll see how he does at, at fulham and then got the potential of bringing him back at the end of the season um i'm not sure how work permits um work on this game particularly but we will see what happens hopefully he can play some part next season or we put him out on loan again maybe for a couple of years or whatever it might be We'll see how he does, but he's already valued at nineteen and a half million pounds. <clears throat> Excuse me, and he's only twenty years old. So let's get into this game against Bristol City in the FA Cup. Um, ties have been good to us. We've had Reading and now Bristol, but we did struggle against Reading. So I'm hoping that we don't struggle against Bristol, and this is a a fairly easy easy tie I did pick uh, a strong team they are pretty much the strongest 
we could have picked we could have picked more um Musa Dembele up top Jesse Lingard Carabelts come in um we could have played us or we could have played Lacazette then Donka uh Torreira there's loads of Usman Dembele we could have played loads of different players um but this team should should be strong enough to beat Bristol Rovers uh we are away they will be hoping for a draw to get us back to our place and get a bit of revenue in. Um, sorry about my voice, guys. My voice is so croaky at the moment. I don't know what's going on. I'm just going to have a, a drink, so excuse me for just one second. See if that's any better. I probably not actually. It does sound like I'm actually going to lose my voice. So hopefully that's not the case. And so far in this game, it has been the most boring game ever. We think we've had one highlight in 36 minutes. Um, that's not good. I might have to bring Lacazette and Usman Dembele on just to have something. I mean, Moussa Dembele has been the worst player on the field for us. Here's Jesse Lingard. Arthur, can we score? Nope. Fushberg lost out to Sterling twice there. But we do win it back. Here is Jesse Lingard. It's fallen out to Bastos. Um, Hector Bellerin's out for quite a while. I think he had a, a crucial muscle injury Bastos just just scored um I think he's out for three months I think it is uh so I did debate on whether or not to look for another backup right back so we got Bastos in he's he's very good to to replace him um but then what if he gets injured but then I thought about it we got uh Callum Chambers he's more than capable of playing there so that's that's going to be his backup. One nil up at half time with that last last minute uh, goal by Bastos. Yeah, we'll keep it as it is for now. Uh, we probably will make those changes. I will bring Lacazette and Dembele on at some point. Um, maybe bring Cavaleos off because he's not having the best of games. Here is Moussa Dembele. Granit Xhaka plays out wide to Lingard. Jesse Lingard just got absolutely wiped out. And now they're going to be down to 10 men. 40 minutes left on the clock. 1 0 down. 1 man down. We should go on and easily win this game now, hopefully. Not going to make those changes just yet. We should be fine. Here is Arthur with a bit of space. He finds Jesse Lingard. And Jesse Lingard has hit the post. Wow. Smashed off the post from Jesse Lingard. 60th minute. I'm going to make those changes on the 70th minute, I think. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do it now because those two haven't played well at all. Moussa Dembele off. Jesse Lingard on. And I am actually going to play them Dembele. I'm going to take Cavales off. But I'm going to put Jesse Lingard in behind. And then um, Usman Dembele out on the right. I think that's his favourite position. We are trying to prepare for life without Usman Dembele. Because his loan is up at the end of the season. We've had him for two seasons now. Um, but there's no way on earth that... Oof, that was close from Xhaka. Uh, no way on earth that I'm going to be able to afford him. His wages alone are like £300,000 a week at Barcelona. They paid £95 million for him, I think it was. He's valued at 60 I think, now. 65 Um There's no way. There's no way on earth that we're going to spend... I don't think we we'll even have that amount of transfer money no matter what we do in this um, this window the past two or this season sorry the past two um, 
oh, Jesse Lingard snatched in there. Uh, the past two summers we've had like 40 and 50 million pounds so it's been peanuts really we've had to um go off selling players and then moving on in there jesse lingard the quickest to react there bad touch from i think ben alwick former manchester united player i think in their goal jack alwick jack i don't know uh, 15 minutes to go here we are 2-0 up we've absolutely dominated this game without without being too clinical um, but we have put away the chances that we've created we just haven't created a lot but we have had lots of shots um, I don't know it's been a bit of an iffy game really where we've dominated but we haven't really I mean, the scoreline should go up. There is still, what, 15, 13 minutes here to go. Xhaka's has just hit another good effort. They are down to 10 men. Every time the minute ticks over, they're, they're getting more tired and more tired. Feuchtberg gets a shot on target. We've got one more change to make. I will make it now, actually, before this highlight runs out. Um, who can we bring on? I'm going to bring Den Donker on. Let's bring Den Donker on for Arthur. Give Arthur a bit of a rest. He doesn't need it. He plays almost every minute of every single game anyway. And he, touch wood, he hardly ever gets injured. Um, which is good. Which is great. Because he's, I would say he's our best player. Him and Jelson Martins. Alexander Lacazette has just got his 20th goal of the season without actually really playing that well Lacazette is still scoring goals I think abamyang has been our best striker this season um, with the, the quantity of the goals I think he's got more goals um, we are still going to make that change which is Arthur off and then Donka on could have brought Torreira on but we'll give the youngster a little bit more game time Torreira has been pretty good because he hasn't sulked or whinged. He hasn't had a lot of football this season. Um, and Usman Dembele, there you go, 4 0. That makes it look a little bit better. Um, Usman Dembele gets his 10th goal of the season. And that was with being out for quite a while with his injury. Um, he was out for, what, two months, I think it was. That's not bad. First, he's hitting double digits. Which is always nice to see for a wide player again. He's not going to be here next season. Um, unless they put him up for loan again. We will loan him. I'll, I'll be quite happy to loan him in. Um, to be honest, look at that shot. 25 shots we've had in this game. To their, what was it, one or two that they had. I don't know, three minutes of injury time here to be added on. We are almost up here last five seconds can we get a goal right on the death no we can't that's clear and there is the final whistle we do go on to the next round of the fa cup uh 25 shots 12 on target four in the back of the net not a bad result for us um but then again we were playing bristol rovers so we were expected to win that game um so i will see you guys for the southampton game Okay, a couple of changes for the game against Southampton. Uh, the back four stays the same, or the back five stays the same. Uh, Xhaka and Arthur stay the same as well. And then I'm going to play Lacazette, Lingard, and Usman Dembele with Aubameyang up top. Aubameyang says he wants to start more games, and Lacazette, I feel, Lacazette and Jesse Lingard, I feel, deserve a place in my starting lineup the way that they've they've played in the past few games um so yeah we'll get into this game against southampton the premier league is we're still within touching distance but we're in i think third as this game kicks off and that's just because we have played i think two less games than chelsea and manchester united but we're still within i think three points of top spot um, so if we win our game in, games in hand, um, we will be, or should be, hopefully, 
three points clear at the top if my math is correct it's never normally correct um so we will just have to wait and see where we are once those um oh i hit the crossbar from a, a fluke cross shot and there we go if we're on five they're on six uh, we're on 55 they're on 60 manchester united so it's five points different but i think we've got two games in hand we might even have three by now and Usman Dembele has just scored from a Bastos cross he gets forward more than Hector Bellerin I think um, here's Arthur he plays it into Xhaka Xhaka back to Bastos Bastos puts in a great cross and Dembele is there at the back post to head it home to make it 1-0 inside four minutes here um, so what we we're on 22 this is 22 games, they're on 24, so we've got two games in hand, and we are f six points behind. Wow, really? I thought we was more than that. We was closer than that. Anyway, it doesn't really matter, just to say, just as long as we're within touching dif distance um, when it comes to level games. Once we catch up, we'll see where we are. Um, and, yeah, we should be okay. We do need to actually beat Manchester United when we play them I think we play them again um, I don't know when that game is but yeah we definitely need to beat them uh, just to give us a little bit more of a of a gap um, I thought it was more I thought it was three points after we we're all level in games but it doesn't look that way again unless my math is wrong and it normally is I'm the worst person at doing math there is um, so yeah we'll just wait and see we'll wait and see how it all pans out 24th minute here and pierre emerick Aubameyang has just scored for our second goal of the game and this was good build up actually we had the ball for quite a while Xhaka to lingard lingard to dembele dembele whips in a good cross and there is a Aubameyang. he said he wants to start more um we've promised him to he's one of our hierarchy players so we need to keep him happy if we can um and like i said uh, earlier on I think it was in this episode I think he's been our best striker this season I think Lacazette has been okay but I've always wanted to try and fit Bamiang's just scored again fit them both in the squads um, so this is why I decided to try it out try out this formation um, Martins is just coming back from injury so um there's an opportunity for somebody to play that wide right mid uh, wide right position um and it has been uh, Grenny, uh jesse lingard and that's why i decided to make sure he's kept in the position um again the whole situation with ozil is is weird um he's come back to me we couldn't sell him in january that's a great ball and the bamiang's in again here Oh, good save. Um, he came back to me a couple of days ago and said um, something like, um, even though I haven't been sold, I'm not unhappy. Um, you've done a, a good enough job of trying to sell me. Um, so, I'm, so I'm happy to leave it till the end of the season and we try again or something along those lines. So basically, he still wants to leave, but he's okay with staying. I, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that. We'll probably have to sell him at the end of the season, but will anybody want him? I don't know. He's on like 300 grand a week, probably more than that now. Um, he's still valued at 45 million, I think it is. Um, I don't know who would be able to afford him, who would want him. He's not fantastic. Um, in an ideal world, oh, Gabby Adini has just scored. In an ideal world, what I would like to happen is that we get 60 million or something in the bank we sell Ozil for 40 giving us like 90 million and then using his wages and that transfer budget we buy Usman Dembele on a permanent deal from Barcelona at the end of the season that would be one bit of business that's it nobody else out nobody else in I think that would be a successful 
uh, summer. I don't think we need a lot here. There's not a lot. The only f thing I would possibly do is buy another centre back. Um, like a more experienced centre back. But we'd probably be able to find one of them for a, a free transfer. Or maybe like a Johnny Evans from, from West Brom if they get relegated. Or someone like that. Just to give a little bit of experience at the back there. Um, but there's not a lot that I would change with this team. We've got the we got the backup, we got the youngsters. Um we got the the front lot playing playing well and scoring goals. We're up with the the Premier League leaders even though it doesn't look like it right now, but we will be there once our games have gone it come in. Um it's cuz we went away for that club world club championships or whatever they were called um i'm actually going to bring let's put uh jesse lingard out on the right and then we'll take lacazette off and bring Urzel on let's give him a bit of a bit of playing time um do i want to i'm going to bring lucas Torreira on as well for there's not much between Xhaka and Arthur, so let's just take Xhaka off. And we'll do that. Give him a run out. 20 minutes to go with 3-1 up. We're we're fairly, pretty much in control here. Um, Dominic Calvin-Lewin comes... Did he come off or did he come on? They just come off. He, he cost them like 36 million or something stupid like that. Last 10 minutes here. Let's bring another... Let's bring again. Should we bring Den Donker on? Let's bring Den Donker on for Delit. Give uh, La Linda Linda Den Donker. I think that's what his name is. Um, a bit of a run out. Bastos has got two assists from right midfield today. A goal in the last game against uh, Bristol in the FA Cup. Two assists today. Um, Bellerin's going to have some struggles when he comes back from injury I think uh, there it is guys it is 3-1 we will I will give you a quick look at that Premier League table um, just because it is a little bit difficult there it is uh, we are on 22 games 57 points so we're one away from Chelsea and we are six away from Manchester United so if we win our two games in hand, we will be level on points with Manchester United. And we've got a a, a, a 41 goal difference. They've got 40. So it's pretty tight. It's going to be very, very close. They've only lost one game all season. Chelsea have only lost two games all season. We've lost three games all season. But this is where we have not tied a game yet. We've played 22 games and we haven't drawn a single one. We've won 19 and lost three of them um we lost against west ham we lost against manchester united west ham and manchester city um anyway guys that's going to be it for this episode um i hope you guys did enjoy it it's been a bit of a long one i know um if you did please leave it a big thumbs up it definitely helps out the channel um if you haven't already or if you are new here make sure you subscribe for more of the better than finger uh series here on fm 18 and I will catch you next time.